Good evening. Welcome to tonight's On the Edge with me, Theo Chalmers. Tonight's show is two hours long and live. So if you have any questions for my guests during the show, text them to 8778 with the word edge, a space, and then your name, location, and your message. And we'll try to pick up any that really hit the mark. They're all charged at standard rate, so why not get ready to text? My show tonight is possibly one of the most contentious shows we have ever made. If my guest is correct, our nation no longer exists as a sovereign state. Our leaders, past and present, including Her Majesty the Queen, have committed treason. Parliament will shortly be abolished, and we will find ourselves as slaves to a Soviet-style European Politburo. My guest is a computer expert who has worked all over the world, including in New York for major companies such as J.P. Morgan Chase Bank, and who stood for Parliament in 2005 as a UKIP candidate, and also stood for that party's leadership. He flies planes, races yachts, and is one of the leading anti-European Union campaigners. His website, www.eutruth. .org.uk receives over 6,000 visitors a month and he has driven here tonight from somewhere in continental Europe. Yes, really. He is David Noakes. What a show we've got tonight. David, welcome. Thanks, Theo. Good to meet you. Yes, yeah, good to meet you. Um, okay. Let's, let's talk about the Frankfurt School because I know you want to talk about the Frankfurt School. Yeah. First of all, what is the Frankfurt School? In... <clears throat> 1935, the Soviet Union bosses, the Stalins of this world, were getting concerned that the workers of the world weren't uniting and losing their chains and picking up the chains of the European Union because they really thought that they would, through revolution, end up ruling the whole world, the, the Soviet bosses. Mm -hmm. So they bought, well, they actually invested in the sociology department of the German Frankfurt University and commissioned them to write, they renamed it the Frankfurt School and commissioned them to write um, reports on how to sabotage nations. And these guys did a bang up job. They started with the 24 Protocols of Zion and came up with 200 Frankfurt School subversion techniques. Are you saying that they wrote the Protocols of Zion? No, no, no. They, they just you know, took a copy of those as a base to start with. Protocols of Zion were about 40 years older. Okay. And um, <clears throat> we won't, I don't think it's worth debating whether those were genuine or anything else about them because that's a whole other topic. Well, who, isn't who it? cares? They work, they're brilliant. And um, they, the European Union started applying these in Britain in the 1950s. So the first thing was to empty the churches. That's a Frankfurt School subversion technique because if you get people to stop believing in religion, you can then fill them up with, with, with other Frankfurt School subversion techniques like mindless TV, football, um, reality TV shows, mm -hmm. all Frankfurt School subversion techniques to stop people thinking. Um, Mark from York says, is immigration a Frankfurt School technique? Oh, gosh, absolutely. Overwhelming immigration, overwhelming our infrastructure. The government said there'd be 13 million, uh, 13,000 come in when the EU got control of our borders. Because in anybody who's in the EU is now allowed to come to England without any kind of well, bit more let that. or hindrance. It's a bit more than that. The EU has controlled our borders since the 1997 Amsterdam Treaty, and the government said 13,000 would come in. We've had about 10 million in total. They, all, they never gave us the figures, but they did let it slip in 2008 that 2.7 million had come in in one year. And that was mostly from Poland, wasn't it? Well, uh, they did give us the total. F yes, that was right, yeah. yeah. And um, not only can our infrastructure not handle it, you know, all these cities now full of immigrants, you can't drive to school, you can't drive to work, the infrastructure, the roads can't handle it. We've got 380,000 English people a year emigrating to get away from the overcrowding and the idea is to create overcrowding and tension. It's a Frankfurt School subversion technique. So they are particularly delighted to pull Muslims into the country and then try to teach us to dislike them. 
that is government policy. And you know, they're trying to create tension, and they're doing a damn good job. But the English people are really terribly nice and very laid back, and their plans to create tension have not gone anything like as well as they hoped they would. Why is that, do you think? Because we're just nice guys. I mean, we've ex we're tolerant. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. According to the Frankfurt School, we're unreasonably tolerant. Yes, we're unreasonably tolerant. We, we should be fighting on the streets now, which is their plan. I mean, you know, it, it is true, isn't it, that, you know, our schools, they're teaching multiple religions, mm. and, yes. and you, you see programmes about schools where the children speak 30 or 40 or yeah, even more right. languages, which yes. is yes. extraordinary. Yeah, the, the, the technique destroys identity. If you flood a nation with immigrants, you destroy their identity. And that is happening, and it's, it's a stunningly successful technique. So they're destroying the family, they're destroying our industry, they're destroying our schools, infrastructure. Tax, yeah. Schools, the tax on the teachers, you know, the teachers are not allowed to do anything now. Uh, that's deliberate, that's another Frankfurt School Well, do you technique. think that we should have corporal punishment in schools? I don't want to get into that debate, but a teacher should be able to control their class and instill discipline on them. But it's hard to know what they can do, you know, they you know, well, write and, out lines uh, uh, or something. Yeah, but until they got to the point where, um, you know, a teacher can be sued by any student, it really wasn't a problem. But it's the Frankfurt School subversion technique to undermine schools and teachers. Undermine authority? 